Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a couple of days ago I was talking to a friend and he asked me if I had any old school graphics cards that he could use in a Windows XP build. I said I had the perfect thing in NVIDIA's 7600 GT, yet when I went to test it out it seemed that it ran a little bit hot no matter what I did to it. He suggested why don't I try out the old CPU cooler on a GPU DIY method, a method that I really hadn't heard of or looked into too much. Turns out you can rig up a beefy CPU cooler to sit on your graphics card and it should help keep temperatures down. Now I wouldn't really recommend doing this, I'm sure it works just fine, but I thought hey, why not give it a go, see how well it works, um, just for a bit of fun. So without further ado, let's talk about what modifications I've made to my old card and hopefully we can help keep those temps down when it comes to running games and also pretty graphical intensive tasks too. Like I say, if you want to try this, do so at your own risk. It is just a little bit of fun, and I do like to have an occasional bit of fun here on this channel. So without further ado, let's get into it and have a look at this rather odd modification. So I suppose I better talk you all through this absolute monstrosity. What we have here is an Arctic cooler mounted to the GPU with the help from my friend, of course, because I've never really looked into this method or heard about it up until now. Apparently, quite a few people out there do it, and it's supposed to give you quite good results. Now, the 7600 is an old, not all that power-hungry card, so it should work even better here. But what I've done is essentially just cable-tied it on, this thing isn't going anywhere. I truly have underestimated the power of cable ties up until this video. We've just sort of rigged four together, hooked them round each other, and made a pretty, well, what can I say apart from homemade solution that seems to be holding up just fine. Of course now though, we have to put the money where our mouths are because it's time to see if this actually does help to reduce the temperatures of this card, which in all fairness were getting quite high, under certain load situations. So this is what it looks like when we hooked it up to our core two quad build. We had to attach the fan to one of the motherboard headers as opposed to the card itself because the configuration of the stock coolers fan connector is a little bit different. It's only two pin, but as you can see here, the idle temperatures were improved right away from a pretty warm 50 degrees Celsius down to 39. It's still not the coolest graphics card in the world, but that's a nice improvement before we've even got into any games. So my testing method here was simple. Take three games, run them for a couple of hours each, and see how high the temperatures went on both the stock cooler, the puny stock cooler that you saw beforehand, as well as the Arctic Pro cooler mounted on top with the cable ties. Now I have to say that during all three results we saw significantly improved temperatures. I mentioned before I had to hook the fan up to one of the motherboard connectors, so the fan is definitely audible, Put it that way but it doesn't sound half as bad as the stock cooler when it's racing at about 60 percent speed because it's trying to cool itself down all in all i have to say that across all three games i was very impressed by the results of course this doesn't represent the most practical in aftermarket cooling solutions but it certainly does the trick i'd like to see a few graphics cards with coolers like this i just think it would be well cool if you'll pardon the pun but nonetheless it's certainly an excellent diy method and um, there are other alternatives on the market like special gpu aftermarket coolers designed to give you better temperatures of course which is why this really doesn't make that much sense although buying this cpu cooler would be cheaper than a lot of aftermarket graphics card coolers out there if you want to bear that in mind it won't exactly look the best in your PC though, and a lot of your friends probably won't be impressed with the cable ties. But nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say, it was a bit of fun. We saw pretty decent results, I think, overall. If you enjoyed this video on it, leave a like on it. If you didn't, leave a dislike on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let me know if you've ever tried something like this in the comments down below and how well it worked for you. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one. 